So it lets me search my deck, which is always nice. I'm gonna grab that. What do you have? You have a Lucid, right? For Nidoran female? No, I don't think so. Hmm. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, yeah. No, I don't. So Bulbasaur right. it is, because he's really good. I, mean, I was saying, you have the Evolution in your hand, don't you? For Venusaur, yeah, but I gotta get Ivysaur, too. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, for the Nidoran, Nidoran, Nidorina? Oh, no, I have Nidorino. So I, I need the uh, male Nidoran. Yeah, so couldn't you pull Nidoran? Nidor Instead of Bulbasaur? Yeah, but I don't have the energy cards for it. Uh, okay. Because he needs, what, three base? Yeah, I don't know. for a chance to attack, because those are flip, those are coin flips. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> well, no. I got one. Attack. Oh, he's weak to grass. Sick. So, he takes double damage. Oh, wow. Swapped out the Jigglypuff. Grass energy. Friendship song. Flip a coin of head. Put a basic Pokemon card chosen at random from your deck onto your bench. Ooh. Wow. Ah. I mean, random, but. Yeah, that that could still potentially doing be good. That, imagine doing that in actual, you know, physical cards. How do you do random? Just you pick all your cards, mon uh, your Pokemon cards from your deck. I think pick you, one at random and then throw them back into your deck and shuffle. I think that's what they would want you to do, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> so now Meowth has cards. Every turn you would attack with Jigglypuff until you get oh. You're still getting a guaranteed Pokemon still. I think if this works I'll at least do ten damage. So I should do twenty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it weak, or did you, or you use the uh, trainer card? Huh? I used the the plus power, yeah. So I was hoping it would, by yeah. default, give me ten. Expand yeah. all damage done or to Jigglypuff attack. during your opponent's oh. next turn is reduced by ten. After oh. weakness and resistance. Okay. Well, at least it's not a complete thing. Oh, and it does ten damage too. Fuck. <laughs> That's not too bad then. That's pretty good. God damn it! Now I'm getting my uh, fucking water energy. Yeah. I think Bulbasaur requires grass. Yeah, okay. Mm. And I think I need grass for that too. Yeah, so, okay. This is it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Damn it. So she takes no damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck Good you. Card. For now. Play Clefairy oh, yeah. Doll as if it were a basic Pokemon mm -hmm. while in play. Clefairy Doll counts as a Pokemon instead of a trainer card. Clefairy Doll has no attacks, can't retreat, and can't be asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. How much health does I have? Just the one? Defending Pokemon is now asleep. Fuck you. It's not even a, it's not even a coin flip. I'm just asleep. Oh. So I have sleep checks now. Between turns. Does it cost uh, energy for that one, or is he just able to use that? Energy card. I guess that is her turn. Okay. It's her attack, though. Sick, yeah. I'm awake. Sleep check. That's how people work, too. It is how people Every, work. Every uh, minute, you have a sleep check. And see if you're still asleep. Okay, yeah, so... People don't understand that, so, you know. Three colorless yeah, good luck energy. Good earlier. And faster. And your Scyther does 30 damage base. Sword Dance, during your next turn, Scyther's Slash Attack's base damage is doubled. That's free, one grass. Mm. And then you just do that. Yeah. So that... It makes some of these way better, some not so much. Um, maybe it only takes one hit and it goes away? I don't know, because there's no health on it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll play Goldeen. I doubt it counts for a prize card either. Water energy. I don't think it does. Yeah. Or else that's very not that's not nearly as good anymore at that point. Sick! Yeah, some nice points. Sally would still need a 
another perfect thing like that to kill that. Yeah, and it's gonna just keep putting me to sleep. It might not have enough to do its um, actual attacks. And sleep. But so no attack for me this turn. Okay. Sick grass. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, so she needs one more for do the. Oh no. Mm. Do the wave. Does 10 oh, damage plus oh. 10 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. Ooh. That's why she played that. Sounds powerful. Sounds like it would kill you. Quickly at that. It might. <sighs> Fuck. Um. I have a retreat cost. If I switch to me Alf. It might not be worth it, so I'll just hold off and Let's, uh... try to wake up. Okay, so I'm done between turns. Yeah. Still asleep. Draws a card. Is it every turn a sleep check? Every in between turn is a slot, but well, she's dead. Well, yeah. Took 60 and honestly, damage. You might be dead at that point. Because even if you were to attack with the next Pokemon, you would still lose the next one on top of that. Yeah, most likely. I'm going to use Meowth, though. Just to... Because it's guaranteed yeah. 20. It'll just be random. Yeah, solid. Oh, I would... I would just, yeah. Who to hit? The Poliwag. Yeah, I would say it's probably not worth the Meowth, actually. Do the wave. Because you want to take out the really tough now. I don't have anything that can. I don't have any more energy cards. Uh, Literally nothing I have can attack outside of the Goldeen. It'll die on one hit, too. Yeah, but I mean, you kind of have to attack the, the Wigglytuff. Because now, even if you do attack the with the Goldeen... Oh, fuck me. That, uh, you've lost. No, yeah, no. Yeah, because... In... I, did, I didn't have anything anyway, even if I did attack with the Goldeen yeah. last turn. Oh, yeah, no. You, you drew the thing. Does Revive uh, give you back your prize cards, or no? <sighs> It does. No, not the prize cards. No, I mean, replenishes your options. Because then you could revive uh, Nidoran. Does it keep the energy? It does not keep the energy. It's a fresh Pokemon. Ooh. That's what it it puts it back on the bench. But Unless Meowth can attack again. But I need two energy cards for it, which I don't have enough yeah. for. Yeah. It's already over at this point. Unfortunately. <laughs> so a lot of it's just kind of getting the hang of the game and mm. you don't necessarily I mean, you start with have to basic deck. what's up you start out with a basic deck too yeah i don't have to necessarily be over here winning in such nice in such nice surroundings makes it all the more pleasurable so because i could probably beat them if i try again but i can also come over to i think you're gonna beat the left version at the very least what for what we saw I come to the Rock Club. I think they have more people willing to duel over here. Mm. I'm going to be moving soon to a faraway place, but I'm not sad. I'll make new friends dueling with Pokemon cards. Gee, I lost. Matthew's <laughs> really good. He'll probably inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. I surprised they don't see a rival here either. Did you hear? Is I think he appears upon beating the different medals. 10,000 mm. cards. He probably have. That's a lot. Hmm. Member of the rock club. But I mean, you saw him the, some, the moment you entered the uh, the water club, right? How about it? Yeah, because he scripted to do it that way. Hmm. At the first club, I assume. Yeah, whatever the first one is, he comes out and he's like, "Oh, okay. that wasn't so and then after The next club you beat could pop up again, maybe. Yeah, the next one or two, okay. something like that. He'll pop up and then, because he'll just like how your rival will battle you on occasion, he'll duel you on yeah. occasion. Don't tell me that Kangaskhan's my only one. <laughs> Fuck. Well, at least it's there. We're on the bench. We do gong, but I mean, not much. No, I can't place anything. I have to only place basic Pokemon. Yeah. Evolutions can't do it. Yeah. Worthless. Four cards. Coin toss. Who gets to go? Does Kangaskhan need a specific uh, energy card or just normal? I believe it's uh, colorless, yeah. Okay. 
and Nidorino. Sick. Well, you have some. That's yeah. So let's. You still have some energy cards. Let's use the fire because I don't. I think Flareon's my only fire Pokemon. I'm not gonna yeah. bang things on it. So fetch. Let me draw a card. But I don't have many fire energy either. And Fetch is pretty good, at least. Helps you out. Okay, I at least have a bench Pokemon I can use now. Yeah. Alright, Matthew, you asshole. Come on, Geodude. Finish the turn without attacking. Mm -hmm. A high Venusaur. Mmm. Nice. What's this? Stone Barrage. Requires a second one. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. Oh, fuck you. Huh. Am I weak to... Oh, and I'm weak to fucking... That's very fighting. interesting one. And there's no limit to that, huh? Until you hit Tails. So you could oh. potentially hit yeah. multiple times to kill. Huh. Um, Madness. King is going to have a retreat cost? I think so. Yeah, three. Ooh. And I don't know if I want to build her up. Because she's going to get yeah, fucked up here. I'm gonna put this on Krabby for a, now, and then I'm gonna draw a card. Give a for a while, I guess. Cause he just needs one more energy card of any of any kind, and he can attack. Yeah, but your king's not gonna be out here for a good while. <laughs> Unless this guy gets really lucky, which <laughs> yeah, man. Never know. Oh, he evolved it. Harden during your opponent's man, next turn, whenever thirty or less. I know there's some Yu-Gi-Oh game too. A time ago, where the, literally the computer would cheat. Where I think someone actually went into uh, either programming and looks at stuff where the computer could literally change the card in their hand to a card they need. Oh, dude. Uh, just to make it harder. So we never got to and the... And I say harder, but yeah. We never got to the end of Digimon Digital Card Battle, Kevin and I. But yeah. the final boss quite literally uses cheat programs to draw the cards he needs. <laughs> oh my god, like, yeah. It's a legit thing in that game. I hate it. Absolute worst. And if I remember correctly, when you start to duel with him, the reason it's so hard is he activates a cheat card or a cheat code. Cheat card. Because he's because you're in the digital world playing card games, so he's hacking into uh -huh. the digital world. He <laughs> will hack it and make it so your partner Digimon card is at the bottom of your deck. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's cheating. It's Bullshit. That's some hard, hard cheating. I think, um, because when you play that game, you're able to get multiple par uh, partner cards, I think up to three by the end of it. And I think he only affects the, the first one it, the, the code finds. Huh. But it's still bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, making good progress. Nidorino, what do I need for you? Is it all grass? Is... I'd say it might be worth actually boosting your Kangaskhan at this point. Maybe. I've kind of been banking on I mean, powering you have... Nidorino. Yeah, but you also have your Krabby still in reserves. And he hasn't hurt your Kangaskhan yet. So he's, gonna... he's probably going too soon. Depends. Uh... And the other ones can at least attack right now. Fetch is really good, though. Yeah. It's letting... common punch, though. So I should have enough to power up Nidoran. He's evolving. Attached to Graveler. So he's going to attack. That's going to hurt. That's going to do double yeah. damage and almost kill. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Almost, though. Oh, wow. But you need also to kill that thing, too. So I'm gonna. Ooh. Because Kangaskhan, it's got 60 health. If you do it to Kangaskhan, you can at least attack with Comet Punch now. Yeah, but and I have Comet to. Punch I have is... to get at least one head, otherwise it does nothing. Mm. That's the thing. Because that 40 he does is free. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start powering up. Nidoran. I'd say you have a better chance of sending at least 20 though compared to Nidoran's what. And then, you know, do you have the Nidoran, Nidorino? Yeah, the Nidorino's in my hand. But I'm not banking on the... Not the Horn Hazard. I'm well, trying I mean, to build towards... Nidoran's probably going to... 
Yeah, base. I'm, I'm concerned with um. It's base fifty. What's the health of Nidorina or Nidorana? Uh, Nidorina, uh, whichever one you have. Where are you, Nidorina? Here you are. Sixty health. But this gravel okay. is weak to grass, so it's gonna do double damage. Okay. So I just need to get him so, so out. It should knock it out then one turn. Yeah. I just gotta okay. build Before. towards it. Hi, Flareon. Oh, yeah, fire Pokemon fucking are a nightmare. They can do a lot mm -hmm. of damage, but to use their fire attacks, you have to discard a fire energy card. Oof. That sounds absolutely worthless in your grass deck. I think it's just there to give EV options. Yeah, but I mean, it still sounds absolutely pointless to have in your, in your grass deck. Fair. Okay, so we're mm. going to put Krabby out as a buffer, because... I have three more tries before I have to worry about anything. One more grass I need to ran. And then I can play... Do I have a trainer card? No, it's all my uh, Pokemon names. Okay. Hmm. I can't use Iron Grip, but I can call for family. Mm -hmm. Choose a Krabby from my deck. And then I'll get a nice shuffle out of it. Yeah. I was thinking you just get a crappy and you reduced your deck, honestly enough. That's kind of nice. Not a draw of cards. Gust of Wind. Fuck you. Well, there went that plan. Hmm. Bye, Nita Ran. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ass white. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, crappy back out, I suppose. I think that's more or less it, though. Because even Krabby can't do that much damage overall. No. Um. And plus Plower, I mean. But you can't plus attack plus. yet. You have to put Energy first, don't you? Water on Krabby. Plus Power. Iron Grip. Mm -hmm. Should be 30? Yeah. Not a lot, but weak. I mean. Not 30, yeah. Graveler I mean, evolved into attack Golem, you. He'll god damn it. Attached yeah, to Golem, god you. damn it. Just free I mean, 60, alright. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that's it at that point. I don't think there's anything you can do at that point. So. There's no damage output enough. And I don't have the energy to really do anything either. No. Yeah. So the difficulty in this game comes with just trying to build your deck up. I assume the best thing is to find the first opponent that's the weakest, and then go from there. Yeah, some of the gyms have weaker uh, have weaker card players, of course. Mm. I think a I'd lot of grass re are um, resistant to electric, I think. I think. Yeah. But you, you just got to go in and duel who you can and get the cards you can, build them yeah, up. Yeah, so the beginning is slow. Find your opponent that you can beat and move on. We'll do one more duel before we finish. Alright. But just so you can see how all of the different clubs look. Alright. There, uh, let's see. We'll go into the fire club. See what this looks like. Are they going to be tougher? Oh yeah, we're not going to duel anybody, just so we can look at them. And the club is... The, I say the lobby is probably nothing. Oh, hey, look. It's the player character from yeah. the main game. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging around. He's just here playing card games. It's cool. They, look, they had the assets. They said, sure. Why not? Can't blame them. Can't blame them. Although I would argue, I wonder how hard it was to make assets back in the day for this. Here's another one. I believe these like, are all sprites been... from the base game. They just... Gave them yeah, I don't understand. Wait, man, even making these sprites, I'm sure there's, there's a knack to it, mind you. Oh yeah, the random person can just throw out a sprite that looks like a human and say, "Yeah, it's a human." Someone has to, you know, have some knowledge and capabilities and skills to do this. If I remember, maybe correctly, experience too. If you want to throw it on there. I think the science gym focuses on trainer cards. But I doubt it took them long to make the assets. I think the biggest hurdle or was the uh, 
was the cards itself. Hmm. Yeah, there he is again. That, that's another one too. The back of it, mind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already have all these NPCs. Why, why, why fuck with it? So what are we fighting? What are you doing? I'm gonna go the electric. I just wanted to show you the the different gym layouts. All right, well, the lobbies are the same. The lobbies are all the same. That's kind of cool. I don't know if those cheats are actually in the base game, and I mean base game, the normal game. Those of specific Pokemon. sprites, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, where's the electric one? one? Lightning Club. <laughs> Lightning. It's like a show. We got a stage and lights. Mm. Let's duel this chick. This will be our last one. Jennifer, isn't Pikachu totally yeah. cute? My head skips a beat whenever I see those cute little eyes. Hey, do you want to duel my Pikachu deck? Sure. Pikachu deck. Play with four prize Sorry. cards. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh. That, is, that is not the sprite I was expecting to see. <laughs> oh, kid, yeah. Hello, Jennifer. I'm going to try to beat you, okay? What do I have? Nidorang. Bits. She threw down four prize cards, see. knowing exactly what she's capable of. Oh, yeah. You don't. I don't think you stand a chance. I'll be honest with you, but we'll go for it. I want to place. And you know how scary kids can be when they have only a single minded attention to one thing. And, you know, have all the money to just buy Pokemon cards. That's when you. You uh, started your journey today. That's... But he's, always, he's less than 10 and already on our journey, Dwayne. That's when you like, push them down and steal their deck. It's true. Because you're bigger than. You're physically that's when you, uh, bigger tear than. You tear up the Dodeo card. And you throw it over the boat. And then he dives in after it. Yeah, that was a fucking weird moment. On a, oh, on a moving ship, I'm gonna dive after those cards that are ruined at this point. So they're not—they're not functional, right? You'd think so, but I think it was implied <laughs> that they were fine outside of the fact that he only found a handful of them. Oh. Oh well, twenty damage isn't bad. Oh, you know, yeah. It wasn't just Exodia cards. It was, I think, everything, right? No, it was just Exodia. You found, oh, I think, two pieces not. out of the five. They're tossed. Throw them away. Worthless. Tails. Yeah, oh. fuck your Pokeball card. Use the mm -hmm. potion. Fuck you. Oh, she doesn't have anything else on her bench. Oh. Hopefully you win. You can do it, right? We'll see. Check in Pikachu. If you're lucky. There's Nidorino. This would be it. So let's start building him up and try. Because she needs one more water energy card, and then she can just do base 30 for free. And mm -hmm. heads. And heads. And heads. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful damage right there. It's 50. Uh, you know... Hmm. I've never been a fan of cards that were based around gambling, so I rarely use them in Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, even in Pokemon, the, 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 act, the not card game, the issue with any move that isn't 100% accuracy is worthless. Yeah. Even 95 misses. Like, it's not, it's not worth it sometimes. The only reason you have them is because they don't really have many other options. Thundershock base 10... Has a chance to paralyze, fly for 30. And they'll always miss when you want them to. So, you know, next turn, we don't want them to. Effects of attacks, including damage done to flying Pokemon. If Tails attack does nothing. Hmm. Oh, that's a double-edged sword. Hmm. Heads, you take no damage next turn. Tails, you do no damage, period. <laughs> I have anything else now, but I need another... I mean, I guess. Card. But at the same time, I guess if you have no other option at that point, yeah. next turn... Fucking fuck me, dude. Yeah. That's like the accuracy of thunder. So we're at a stalemate. Are there more hit chaos? Hmm? Seeking God, that's well, not what I needed. I said stalemate, but I think I think I still think she's winning. She's got more going for her than I do. Yeah. Motherfucker. 
Ah, you, you smacked him. That's something. Yeah, but that potion set us back. Something fierce. Water on the Pikachu. <laughs> she can do 30 base, so I can... I gotta take mm. fucking precaution over that. And there goes the battle. <sighs> and Coliseum was something, too. Coliseum was fun. It's the mini games, honestly enough. I didn't really care for the mini games. I like putting my uh, wow. cartridge in and doing the the battle on the mean, computer. I mean, that's fine. Well, yeah, I mean the the actual tournament thing itself and all that was fine, but the mini games, hundred percent remember those. I also remember uh, getting very far in the tournament, but not able to beat the final fights because they were absolute bullshit. I don't remember if I ever beat the uh, the tournament because it's like what a hundred man, it's a hundred man battle or something like that. It's the the tournament. I don't know. It's the, I'm thinking of the um the Champions Road or the Gym Challenge or whatever it's called. Oh. We have to literally fight all the trainers and the gym leaders, and then after you beat the main one, you have to fight beat your rival. God, I think the later games also included the second generation stuff and the Johto League and all something like that. I don't know what it was. Oh. But yeah, man. They were not winnable by endgame. I mean, they were, but not by tiny... It was hard. ...myself, me, in the past, with my tiny ba brain. What does Metapod need? Two for Stiffen, two for Stun Spore. Stun Spore does damage. Uh, specifically Grass, though. Yeah. So I guess you can just attach anything you want to get stiffen. What's that do? Which one? Stiffen. Oh, I think it just makes it so he does... It's a coin flip. Prevent all damage. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's a way to stall if you don't have the way right. to do much. But... Yeah. Fucking Horn Drill! To be fair, that's a much better stall than actually Metapod has to begin with. Fair. Yeah. That's actually usable. Do -do. You don't throw out Metapod in Pokemon and go like, yeah, we're going to have a battle. No, like, you don't. <laughs> you, you throw out Metapod because you have nothing. You throw out Metapod to slow him down while yeah. you get ready for the next one. Yeah. You throw out Metapod as a joke of a wall for the meantime. Paralysis. While your wheel Pokemon Paralysis. in the back, like, you know, Fuck. bench presses the actual weights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As your starter, you know, does push-ups on the ground waiting to get in. Your level 50 starter at before the second gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get Metapod ready, I suppose. Because I have another grass one here. Do I have a Jiggly? I do have Jigglypuff. What do you do? <laughs> Lullaby and Pound. So you can go onto the bench. It's a good one. I mean, it kind of beat you down pretty easily last and time. Then you can go on. Oh, no, that was... Uh, if you get the Wigglypuff, that'd be good. That was the Wigglytuff. I don't think I have that Wigglytuff yet. Yeah, but the Jigglypuff still did pretty good with the Lullaby every now and again. Oh, Paralysis did straight nothing. Okay, fuck. Oh, wow. Wait. Yeah. Did I, did I fuck up? Do you have a retreat cost? You do. Fuck. Because I could have switched yep. out, and then that gets rid of the thing. You're in here now. All right, well, it's too late now. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no check. No check. Just it is, just huh? goes away over after the next that's turn. That's good then. Fuck you. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Talking about wall. Yeah, it it can be fucking annoying. I didn't I guess, check the other one like the idiot that I. I guess it means neither side tax at this point though. But. That's good. I can do this. Jigglypuff. Switch. That removes paralysis. Use retreat. I don't think I have any more Pokemon cards anywhere in this house. Horn drill. They're gone. Gone forever. I have the ones that we've been trying to sell, but that's about it. Hmm. No. They're gone. Oh, hi, Kangaskhan. There are no I Pokemon in Jennifer's play area, meaning I win. Because yeah, fuck you, bitch. There you go. You only had Pikachu. Yeah, she was trying to get other Pokemon and kept failing. <laughs> oh, my dumb Pikachu lost. Kid. And then you get a booster pack. Oh, you get a booster pack, not just a card. I got fucking Moltres in this first pack. <laughs> nice. Can't wait to not use it. Okay. 
Well. I did it. Your your first victory. What out the of four. fuck is wildfire? You made Sadly, start you started with a grass deck, so you have you very little on the energy cost of fire. You discard that many cards from the top of your opponent's and honestly, you, deck. You can't really use Moltres too well. We did it, dude. That's fucked up. You may discard any number of fire energy cards attached to Moltres when you use this attack. If you do, discard that many cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Yeah. That's not that many, though. You can stack... That's a lot of energy. You can stack... Yeah, it's a lot, but you can stack that shit. Dude. Yeah. But just the, using Dive Bomb, was that the first one, Wildfire? Wildfire was the first one. Okay. It only costs one, and then you can oh. choose it. This one takes four. Tails' attack does nothing, right. but if you get heads, it's 80. That's neat. But I'll be honest, it does not sound like Moltres is that good with the legendary birds. This version of it, no. Yeah. There's another one in the game. Double colorless. That's cool. So what this app, this does is it gives it, you, you know, two, Persian, two colorless for one. Yeah. I didn't figure as much. But no, I think you got Persian. That's actually pretty What's good. What's it do? Scratch and pounce. It's a normal type on top of that. You got mouth already. Pokemon attacks Persian during your opponent's next turn. Any damage done by the attack is reduced by 10. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Yeah, no. Jolteon, Voltorb, Rhyhorn, mm. which is also nice. Is Horn Attack mm. a coin flip? No, Horn Attack is base damage. Okay. So, you need to play Mysterious Fossil. It's a trainer card, but it acts as a Pokemon. You need to play it mm. to play uh, Ammonite and Kabuto. Okay. Which you have one of. Because these technically count as evolution Pokemon. Hmm. Not that great, though, but I guess if it's a trainer card, it's free to turn. Yeah. It's also not great, though. Not No, not really. It's it, it's uh, yeah. the Kabutops and Amistar are better versions, of course, the better ones. It's just, yeah. you need to set them up. Pokemon power, though. Shelter. What's that do? Pokemon power? Where do you see that? Yeah. Uh, and the Kabuto. Oh. Oh, that's his ability. Yeah, what's the ability? Whenever an attack, even your own, does damage to Kabuto after applying weakness and resistance, the attack only does half the damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Does he have any weakness? To grass. Okay, so just, yeah, any, it's that's half good. the damage. That's nice. Yeah, and just want to call it, anyway, that's not a bad Pokemon then. And then, execute. That'll become mysterious fossil, which sucks. Hey. I think it, I think one hit it goes down, but... You can place it on the bench and evolve, so. Yeah, I mean, that's the point, I would say. Ooh, and another booster pack. Oh. Sometimes you get two. Ooh, mm -hmm. Electrode. Another Jolteon. Ooh, Omastar. Mm -hmm. Water Gun does 20 damage plus 10 more damage for each water energy attack, not counting the ones used Ooh. for the cost. Oh, that's pretty good, though. But you can't add more than 20. And then Spike Cannon, mm -hmm. flip two coins, attack does 30 times the number of heads. Water Gun is the this best is... move. Yeah, but it's also pretty far evolutionary wise. Hi, Gloom. Defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Mm. Both Defending Pokemon and Gloom are now confused after doing damage. Foul odor. Mm. Another Voltorb. Drowsy. Energy removal is good. I can remove mm. one from the opponent. Just make him get rid of it. Oh, uh, neat. Water energy. It's not great. Another Kabuto. It's and definitely Olympics. usable. Flip mm. a coin. Olympics. Defending Pokemon is now confused. Neat. You have to take care of your Pokemon cards. But that's... Okay, bye, kid. But that's, uh... Yeah. A trading card game. Yeah, well, it's fun. And I six out of The rules have not changed much. No, it not, not, not at all. play any future Pokemon game, trading card game, and kind of just know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And they have, um... Which is cool. For a few years, they let they had a version, a browser version you can play off the Pokemon website, where you could just unlock cards by the train mm. by just doing stuff with your game and connecting to it and getting player points and stuff. Mm. And you can play people online. There's a mobile app version of it now. It gives you like mm. two, three decks by default, and then if you that doesn't sound too bad. And if you buy cards or you go, you just go to some site. Some online. You can just actually QR. buy cards, right? Like the physical cards, and then you get additional cards on top of that. You get a QR code, and it lets you scan the, that deck or that booster pack into the game. That, nice, yeah, that would be good. Some people, some people yeah. just give them away yeah. online because they don't play the the. Mobile. Oh no, I know. 
Uh, but I mean, the tutorial for this Pokemon game took, what, less than 20 minutes, maybe? Less than 20 minutes. If you want to read yeah. up on it, it, they have text versions. As you saw, there's the multiple options, but it makes you do the mock yeah. duel anyway. But I mean, it's got, I'm saying more in general, Pokemon just very easy to get into and mm -hmm. just learn to play. Mm -hmm. Though, getting good at it, I can see being a lot more nonsense happening with effects and Pokemon and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you saw the, the maneuver that yeah. I did where fucking I had to switch twice just to be able to attack. Mm. There, There's crazier... There's crazier schemes out there. Yeah. Rick but, I mean, in terms of basic rules, Pokemon is very simple. Very simple. From what I can gather. Right, and that's, that's a nice way to go for it, though. And, I mean, the mobile app is there, so maybe I can go for that, too, if I want to, you know, fill the card game void. And if you ever do jump on the mobile app, I can add you as a friend, and we could do uh, some rounds together. I don't have... I have very oh. little of anything. Hmm. But it could be neat to look into. So now Yu-Gi-Oh, though, the basic rule set can expand to Pendulum now on top of that. But also, you see Seed Card require... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be point. a trip. Don't you worry. We'll get there. 